Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Lena. I'm Kendrick. And we are the Crockett Way. We want to thank you guys so much for coming here. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Our returning subscribers, viewers, welcome back. We love you. So y'all in for a real treat. Kendrick and I, you guys have heard before, we are on the journey of eating healthy, changing our lifestyle, exercising, just being generally more healthy and more conscious of what we put into our bodies. So tonight we're gonna be making a really quick and easy, delicious snack, dinner, meal, lunch, breakfast, whatever you want, comfort food, and we're gonna share it with you. So go ahead and grab your pens, your pencils, your notepads on your cell phones, whatever, and jot this down, or you can make it right along here with us. Let's go ahead and get started into the ingredients. I forgot. So y'all know we got an air fryer. Kendrick bought me an air fryer for Christmas. This recipe calls for putting the bell peppers in the oven. So we're gonna put half in the oven and half in the air fryer and we're gonna see which one tastes best. So let's do it. All right, everybody, I'm going to introduce all of the ingredients that we're going to be using for this amazing, we believe, recipe. We never had it, y'all. Never had it before. So we're gonna be using beef shaved steak, which we get from Aldi. Number two, sliced provolone cheese. Sliced provolone cheese. Number three, Parmesan shredded cheese. Parmesan shredded cheese. You have to say it twice. Okay, I don't have to say it twice, sorry. <laughs> Sliced mushrooms is the next ingredient. We prefer, sorry, we prefer portobello mushrooms, but um, Kendrick came home with just regular mushrooms, which is fine, we'll make it work. It wasn't fine when I brought it home though, but that's another story for y'all. Don't get started. Don't get started. All right. Yellow onion. Y'all see what I gotta deal with all my life. Next item, yellow onion, okay. <laughs> Garlic. And that's what happens, I get ignored when I be speaking the truth, y'all. Cream cheese is supposed to be low fat, but we have some more cream Tell cheese left, so we wanted to get rid of the rest of it, okay? See, my, my sidekick. Yes, we are. Get it, mommy. And lastly, bell peppers. And we're going to be using four of them, okay? Four bell peppers. Mommy, Daddy is talking to the YouTube people. All right, let's get started. We're gonna, okay, we're gonna show you guys a trick on how to open garlic. Like some people are always like afraid to use garlic because they don't know how to open it. So we're gonna show you a trick. So what we do is we take the garlic, which is still inside of its shell, and you just take a knife and you hit it. And when you hit it, it makes it easier to peel it out of its shell. Ooh, this garlic is bad. It got like a little weird piece to it. No, but that one, no. Y'all got that? No, this one just do. I saw it before I even did it. We just cut that piece out. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it out. And there you go, simple as that. Gotta hit it. That would really work too. Ooh. Gotta get it open. <laughs> get it too open. Gotta hit it. Though. Yeah. Y'all, if, if I tell him to do something, he don't want to do it. That's and then he has to, he'll always have to come back to me and be like. You know what, you right, you right, you right. That's interesting because you like to do everything your way too. Well, that's you know, quick. I mean, I asked her, this recipe was supposed to only be um, two garlics. Y'all. But she gotta add her spin, hold on. It's not supposed to have Parmesan cheese in it according to the recipe that was sent to us, but she had to add in her Parmesan cheese. So she wants to do things her way, put her spin on everything. So why can't I put my spin on things? Why is that such a problem? Did I put my Bae. spin Bae. and twist Bae. Bae. on things? Bae. Bae. Yes. I agree with you. Okay. I agree with you, you're right. Okay. You're right. Okay. But I do things that just try to make it a little bit easier for you. That's all. Well, me too. <laughs> you don't think I like to make things easy for me? Yeah. Okay. You think I like the tough way around? I don't think. I do like a challenge every once I in mean, a while. I mean, I don't think you like the tough way around. It's just, you know, I've been cooking a, a long time and I just like to teach you the ins and the outs, the shortcuts that nobody taught me just to like avoid. But I guess you have to learn from experience. 
Well, I also almost smashed the whole garlic. I know. So, you well, know, it felt like I was about to at least. All right, y'all, let's get back to the video. Let's, let's, come on. This, this intermission stuff got to stop, okay, Mr. Crockett? Mm -hmm. These people don't want to hear us debating on camera. They start debating. Well, I told y'all that, I don't know if y'all saw that short, who be starting them arguments. <laughs> y'all seen it live in action. Did y'all hear that? Like, I, no, babe. That's what you got this for. I thought you got cut off the tip part. Oh, okay, that's fine. Look at that. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know about? Y'all, let me show y'all what he doing. So right now, he's cutting off the little tip. And we're gonna get rid of those. And then he's gonna mince the garlic inside of this little thing. Y'all, this thing is amazing. We got it from Amazon. Love it, love it, love it. Here you go. So the recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, but we're gonna use three because I love garlic so much. Like, I just love it. See how it just minces the garlic for you? Like fresh minced garlic is so delicious. So he has the four bell peppers, and what he's gonna do is he's going to slice these in half lengthwise. So he's gonna go ahead and remove the core and all that stuff. We got the bell peppers cut in half. Over here we have the onions and then there's the garlic. So we forgot to mention that we will be using beef broth for this recipe as well. So we're gonna cook the onions until they're a little tender and translucent. <laughs> so, Kendrick and I haven't weighed in yet. We're gonna probably do our weigh in tomorrow to see where we are. This is day two of our new lifestyle. We worked out last night, but we're gonna do our weigh in, what, tomorrow? Do our weigh in tomorrow? You okay? You heard it again here, drink some water. There you go, drink some water. Avi's eating chips and she keeps biting down on her gums, that's why she keeps crying. We're vlogging our weight loss journey and our, our healthy lifestyle journey for a reason. For us to look back and see how far we've come. Be on the lookout for that, guys. Back to the food. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the garlic. Trivia, how many ounces are in one cup? The first person to get it right gets a prize. It is, eight ounces in a cup. Good oh. job, babe. You get a prize. Oh, nice. My prize. Me. You? Mm-hmm. Oh. So what, I'm not a prize anymore because you already got me? <laughs> Wait a minute, something's wrong with this picture. No, no, no. You're a great prize, you're the best prize. So, we're gonna go ahead and add in the mushrooms. It's all what, baby? And we're gonna cook these until they're tender. Y'all, we got the girls in the kitchen with us, y'all. This is just how it is. We make do with what we got. And after a while, the mushrooms are gonna soak up most of that moisture. So now, we're going to go ahead and add in the shaved beef steak. Here you go, baby. So while he adds that, I'm gonna show you guys. So we're gonna be add, putting ginger in there. We're gonna be putting yes. ground white pepper yes. to season the meat. Yes. Yes. We're gonna be seasoning with Himalayan yes. salt. Yes. No, a little bit more, babe. Garlic powder. Yes. Onion powder. And we're gonna sprinkle it with paprika. Y'all, I'm not measuring these seasonings. Eyeballing it. Y'all done? Y'all finished? Okay. All right, so the meat is done, pretty much done. So next, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna remove it from the heat, and, <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> we're gonna remove it from the heat, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the cream cheese. All righty, so we removed the skillet from the heat. Now what are we, what are we gonna do next, babe? We're going to add in the cream cheese, and stir it. So now the fun part. 
So we have the provolone cheese. We have four slices here, which we're gonna cut in quarters. Now we're gonna go ahead and stuff the bell pepper. Line the bell pepper with a quarter cheese. So what is the Crockett way if you don't do things? The Crockett way. The Crockett way. So this recipe does not require Parmesan cheese. But we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. And it's not gonna be just for flavor, but also for presentation, so. And lastly, we're going to sprinkle with some paprika. And now, we're gonna put these babies in the oven. The stuffed bell peppers are all done and you can easily tell the difference from the ones we put in the oven and the ones we put in the air fryer, but they both look delicious. So don't laugh at us, y'all. We have these aprons and we did all that cooking without our aprons. <laughs> so sad. But <laughs> that's okay. But we had to wrap the Crockett Way aprons. We had to wrap it, we had to wrap it. So without further ado, here they are. Mm, 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 mm. What y'all think? The moment of truth. So this one is from the oven and this one is from the air fryer and you guys can actually see the difference. Air fryer, oven. See the difference? So I'm gonna cut the one from the oven first. You like? I like it. Mm. It's good. I tweaked the recipe a little bit, but the bell pepper is very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Juice. What do you think? I love it. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the air fryer version. Air fryer. Mm. It's good, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's good. The bell pepper is delicious. It really is. I think my wife was right. We need to have more filling. Yeah. We don't think we filled it up enough. Oh. I didn't notice a difference between the air fryer version and the oven, oven version, they taste pretty much the same to me. They're both delicious. I agree. They were both delicious. There was really no difference in the mm -hmm. taste. Really not at all. The only difference I tasted was when I did not have cheese with yeah. it. Yeah, it, we should have put a little bit more cheese in it. Like we don't want to overkill it with the cheese right. to defeat the purpose, but I right. think probably more meat, um, a little bit more cheese will help really top it off. And um, just for your information, we baked it in the oven on 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. 17 minutes to be exact. So 17 minutes, and then we put it in the air fryer on uh, 370, 370 17 minutes for 17 well. minutes. So the recipe calls for 15 to 20 minutes, so I always like to kind of just go somewhere in that middle. middle point. On a scale of zero to 10, 10 being really, really delicious, zero being eh, what would you give it? I would give it an eight. An eight? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely give it about an eight and a half. It's yeah. really, really good. It tastes so refreshing. And I can see myself eating this as a snack. I can. All right, everybody, that is it for our cooking tutorial today. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. As a matter of fact, this recipe was actually a suggestion by my cousin um, in a video that we did on the health video. So if you have not seen that video already, please do go and check it out. I had to put that plug in real quick. I hope my <laughs> wife doesn't mind. No, of course not. <laughs> okay, great, great. So she's gonna put that in the, in the description? Yes, I'll put the link in the description. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.